Imagine your business saving thousands of hours and millions of dollars with just using AI. AI driven automations changes the game, allowing you to handle complex tasks like generating quotes, setting appointments, and order tracking with precision and speed. So let's take a look at how you can streamline your workflow and boost efficiency with these three AI tools. Running a business involves juggling a lot of moving parts, client requests, appointment order tracking, and more. With automation, we can simplify the process, improve accuracy, and free up time for higher value work. In this video, I'll showcase three different automations that can make a real impact within your business. Generating quotes, setting appointments, as well as tracking current order. Each one is designed to help you and your business operate more effectively so that you can focus on what truly matters. But let's dive into the three key areas where AI automation can transform your day-to-day -day operations. And each of our automations will bring both precision and time savings to your workflows. So let's say that you're a roofing company and you get a lot of client requests for work. But one of the most important and most frequent questions that you get on a regular basis is how much will this project cost? So inside of a bot press chatbot that you can deploy on literally any social media or even on your website, you can have a detailed sec a separate section where all of these questions will be answered. So if I were to showcase this for you, we'll start by typing something uh, and go through the flow. But now the bot will ask for the roofing area, which is essentially the area of the roof where you want your roofing to, yeah, to where you basically want to do your roofing. So I'll uh, say um, 50 square meters and then uh, the bot will ask what, what material I use. I'll choose um, metal and yeah it says your personal quote is 19,200 um, but yeah so it's made out of this function so this function calculates the price from square based on how many square meters so I have three different materials which is asphalt metal and clay um, so if if the material is asphalt then the price will be set to 100 or 200 for metal or 300 for clay and it will be stored within the price variable down here and the material is captured uh, in this this card right here where you can choose this and then in the second code card we have the mathematical function that will calculate the quote um, but yeah so in this function you can see that we get the area from the workflow area variable that we captured in this node here where I, or this card here, where I said 50. And we also have the material cost, which we got in the previous card. And we also have the labor cost. We have miscellaneous fee and profit margin. So yeah, here we have the basic code. Uh, and all of this is very dynamic. So you can change this to fit your company. There we have the first automation. And we'll move on to the second one now. The second automation is an appointment setting chatbot. And for this automation, I've used a demo for a dental clinic. And this is a made up dental clinic local, located in Stockholm, um, which is the Swedish capital, if you didn't know. But yeah, so, um, and I want to book an appointment. So at first, the bot is going to notify us about their privacy policy that we have to accept. And then we'll proceed with inputting our information. So my name's Luve Lundgren. And my phone number is something random, I guess. And my email is Luve at engagegrowth.net. And um, my dental service, so I need a routine checkup, nothing crazy. And are there anything specific we'd like to know? You like 
we should know about your appointment. I am scared of dogs. And here I have I can see my information. I can agree and continue correct my information or quit, but I want to agree. And here I get a pop-up where I can schedule for with Calendly. So I want to schedule something. I don't know. So yeah, now it's scheduled and I'm going to show you all how this looks inside of our CRM. So this is how the CRM will look like. It got all of the necessary information in place, which is very good. Um, yeah, so we can see here we have my name, my first name, my last name, my phone number, my email address, my service and my note, which is very nice. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to show you all how I actually built it. So this is how the bot is being is built. So here we, you can see the flow. We got the confirmation um, at the beginning. We capture all of the uh, user information and store in store them in the required variables. So we have the username, we have user phone, user email, user service, and user note. And then we come to this note right here again um where we can where we need to agree uh which is basically we agree correct the information and if you correct if you want to correct your information you go to this re-input node because i wanted to change this first message right here uh, other than that if you hit agree we go to this post which uses make um which is very simple and i have tutorials on how you can do this on my channel which using make post all of these variables to the CRM, which in our case right now was the Google Sheets. Uh, and then if it's the call is successful, we go to this node here where we have a send custom event, um, which within our source code right here, um, use this Calendly, Calendly badge widget. Um, that was the pop-up that you could see here where that took you to the booking page uh, And yeah, then you can press yes when you're back and you go towards the end But first we clear all the variables so that it resets manually before Before the next time this automation runs So yeah, that was it for the booking. Uh, I hope this is helpful and and yeah, this can be integrated into any business that require booking. It's just that you need to change some of the project specific instructions, messages and tasks. But yeah, very simple and a must have in any business. So our third and final automation is actually going to be an order tracking. Um, and this is really useful for all type of e-commerce businesses. So how have I done this? Well, inside of a bot per chatbot, I've made a complete system that's on the back end connected to your Shopify store and has and allows you to input your order number for your order and then Shopify using a custom TypeScript integration will will get all of your order details. Uh, store that in a variable, post that to a local variable within Postgres and then have an AI provide all of your answers for this. So I'll showcase you, I showcase this for you in the emulator. So I'll just start conversation. Hey, um, and I'll select help with order shipping and tracking. I'll add my order number, which is 117, I don't know. And the chatbot will say, you ordered the following products, cargo pants, cargo pants, uh, and turtleneck sweater. Your total amount is 212. Then I can ask, what is the status for my order? So what's the status? And the bot will say, is fulfillment status is currently pending. And the, and the order is confirmed and the financial status is paid. So how did I set this up? Well, as I mentioned, I used a custom TypeScript integration for this. 
but what you can do is if is that if you are not um, that good at coding you can use make so you just need to set up a very easy make flow which will contain of a webhook that will be contain the order number and then have uh, get orders from Shopify uh, have the order number convert to the order ID um, through the get order and then you can have the order ID search um, and like select the order that matches to the ID and then have all of the information and then have a webhook response go back to botpress so this webhook response is within here and as you can see within this result variable I have all of the different uh, information about this order so you can see here total price uh, uh, which was 212 client details and all of that sort of stuff and once we have this results variable we just use AI and we have a long ass prompt for this uh, which sends all of the order details to and uses them to capture and yeah answer pretty much all of your questions these automations simplify the processes that would otherwise take hours to manage manually so using these you ensure that everything runs like a breeze and allows you to focus on scaling your business rather than getting bogged down in the repetitive tasks so how can you implement ai automation today the two tools that I recommend you starting out with are BotPress and Make. BotPress is great for building custom automation systems from chatbots, but also you can do a bit of complex workflows with this as well. It's very versatile, powerful and also user friendly. Make on the other hand is perfect for connecting different applications and automating your day to day operations without ever needing to use a single line of code and the best part with the with these tools is that they are accessible for businesses of all sizes whether you want to create just a simple automation to answer all of your emails or if you want to create a very custom and tailored solution these two softwares are designed to conquer and work with your needs and if you're just getting started don't you worry I've got countless tutorials on my channel that will walk you through the setup process and how you can build some of this automation step by step. AI automation is no longer just a future concept. It's here and it's helping businesses around the world to save time, money and resources. And if you're ready to bring these solutions into your own business, you can reach out to us directly by clicking the link in my video description. So head over to my website where we can discuss how we can use AI automation to be tailored to your specific needs and help your business grow. I really hope that this video has given you some, some kind of value and thank you so very much for watching.